Hey, this is Gail from Bernina of Naperville, and hey, I want to show you today how awesome the Bernina Spanish Hemstitch Foot is. You know, you use your regular number 20 or your 20C foot with it, and it just screws right there on uh, the top of your machine where those two little screws are, and uh, you can make awesome heirloomy type things. It's a great way to add like an embellishment to a blouse or to some home deck or whatever. Now, I filmed part of this video a couple Couple years ago where I added it to my blouse but everything that you're gonna see is totally relevant so hopefully this will really help you out if you have this attachment or if you're looking to purchase this attachment so here are just some different little pieces this is one that we did in one of our clubs. This looks great with this Ruby Star woven fabric. And then also with this handkerchief linen, you can see like this is a little bit narrower version, but that was really fun to make as well. So let's see how you do this thing. I made some samples of the Spanish hem stitching. These are my five and a half millimeter samples here and here. And these are the nine millimeter ones here and here. Now these two are different stitches this is stitch number 423 and there's a cording in there by wonderful it's called razzle so i just want to show that to you up close oops and this is rayon apparel fabric from art gallery this is stitch number 630 with La Espiga cording feeded through. And then this is no cording and stitch number 725. And this is now nine millimeter. And this is nine millimeter stitch number 630 with La Espiga thread. All right, working with the Spanish hem stitch foot, you can see it here. It is foot number 47, and it comes with all these tools which I've laid out here. So I am gonna do something a little bit daring. Believe it or not, I'm gonna be working on the Bernina 590. The 590 inherently has nine millimeter stitch capability, but I actually did some test samples and really like the look of the five millimeter stitch with the Spanish hem stitch foot. So I am using the number 20 regular five millimeter foot. Don't forget everybody, you can actually use these feet on your nine millimeter machines. Another thing I like to get when I'm working with five millimeter stitching on my nine millimeter machines is a 5.5 millimeter stitch plate for our Bernina nine millimeter machines. We have these here and these will fit your 480 up through your 790 machine. In your Spanish hem stitch attachment is a little instruction booklet and it kind of explains what all of these little cord guides are for. Let's have a look at this one. So this is a cord guide and there are two sets, one set for five and a half millimeter, which is what we're gonna be working with today and one set for nine millimeter, which is what these are down here. Now, I know it's really difficult to see, but there are two versions of each. One version is for the fine fabric and one version is for thicker fabric. So if we look here at this one right there, See how that little swoop doesn't go down quite as low? That's how you can tell that's for the firm fabric. And then when we look at this one right here, it goes down quite lower. That little ridge right there, that's how we can tell it's for the fine fabric. And the same goes for the wider ones for the nine millimeter there. So, the, so you get four of those. And then once you pick the one that you wanna work with, and I'm gonna be using the one for the fine fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my piece, which is going to screw onto the machine with our little screwdriver there like that. 
but before I put it on the machine, the little rounded spot goes towards here, and all you're gonna do is lay that on top and push it into place. And now that screws on the machine, this is gonna hold the cording, and your presser foot will straddle that insert. So now, let's go over and get that on the machine. I'm gonna change out my foot, and my needle plate. I have a new Microtech size 80 needle in the machine, which is fine for what I'm sewing. I'm putting the five and a half millimeter needle plate on here, which also means I'm gonna tell my machine that I have that on there so that I don't injure my presser or my needle plate. And now I'm screwing on my little Spanish hem stitch attachment. And then I'm going to put on the regular number 20 foot. And now we're ready. Now I have pre-cut, as you saw, I cut some bias strips. So I'm going to take those two inch bias strips and press them in half. And I'm going to have one piece on one side and one piece on the other. I chose this variegated blue La Spiga thread. It really is the perfect weight. It works really well through the Spanish hem stitch attachment. And we carry this here at the shop in many different colors, solids, variegated. So there's something for everybody with this. And this is a nylon uh, cord, but I do steam it. So I don't get it too hot, but don't worry about putting this in here. It also is washable. Now here is my rayon that I've pre-cut into the strips. And so I'm gonna take one side and line it up under my foot and then line up another side. And now I start off with this, just doing any stitch to kind of hold this slippery stuff on the machine. So we're gonna line this up, get our thread tucked under our foot I'll start giving it like a little bit of a tail. And then I'm going to pick stitch number 725 to get started. Okay, I just want to hold that in place a little bit. Now I'm going to take my La Espiga thread and I'm putting this on my vertical spool pin of my machine just to kind of hold it out of the way, but I'm also pulling some thread off of it to get some slack because you can see this is pretty thick. I don't want to hold that heavy thing in my lap the whole time. I'm going to raise my presser foot now and I'm gonna slip this thread, kind of floss it into this Spanish hem stitch foot, just like this, this little piece here. Lower my presser foot again, and now just to get started, hold my finger behind my cording. Now it's time to switch to stitch number 630. So we're in this for the long haul because we've got a lot of this trim to make.
right, now that we've sewn for a little bit, let's have a look back here to see this pretty design. You can see how well that piece is holding our cording in place, so we really get this nice serpentine look back here. All right, well, hopefully you have some information that you need to get started and embellishing a blouse for the summer or a pillow. Well, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to check out our Bernie F. Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernie F. Naperville. And there you can like, comment, and subscribe.